Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Inside of today's video, we'll be taking a look at the brand new update which just dropped live in the game about 30 minutes ago or so. So I've got both new gadgets already, so we'll be testing those out. Uh, also, we have uh, Stu who has some kind of broken glitch. We'll jump into that straight away. And then also just taking a look at the strong brothers in the meta and also the brothers that got nerfed. So before we jump into it, make sure you're using the crate code. That'd be greatly appreciated. And without further ado, let's hop right into it. All right, guys, so jumping into this game breaking glitch potentially it is Stu with his breakthrough gadget so as you guys probably know already with Stu you don't get your uh, super for free anymore with the breakthrough gadget but as you just saw you get it for free from this gadget it's going to be absolutely broken like Stu can be literally one of the best brawlers within the game just because of this change like beforehand they had to nerf it because it was way too strong but like sometimes Stu can struggle if you don't get his first super but now you just pop the gadget and you get it for free so definitely a little bit broken and I don't know if it was intended. It wasn't in the patch notes whatsoever, uh, but it was literally found by quite a few people uh, straight away. So, yeah, pretty excited just to try it out a little bit. Like, I do like playing Stu when you can just spam your supers. But overall, I feel like Stu might be a little bit too broken. But, yeah, looks like we're probably going to lose on the first day or well, the first game of the update unfortunately let's hop into the next game all right guys jumping into the next game and so testing out griff's new gadget first off i don't really think it's too strong it only gives you an extra row of coins but we'll give it a go see whether it's least useful in 1v1 interactions so nice kill from the frank right here i haven't really got the opportunity you want to use it as up close as uh, possible just so you know for sure that you're going to get the value so i completely with that shot as well so that's one thing to note as well if your accuracy like mine is terrible you're not going to get the most use out of your gadget and of course griff's shot is actually a little bit hard to connect at all times so frank he's going to run it up here Buzz, he's going to miss that but i'm going to use my gadget do get a little bit extra damage but doesn't really help me in anything so far so as kind of thought uh well as i kind of thought beforehand uh, this, ga this gadget isn't really going to be completely the best i mean i suppose it's still all right if you haven't got any gadget for griff beforehand so we're going to pass this ball out hopefully i can heal oh that was so close i was hoping that my stop power could heal me in time hopefully the frank and uh dennis have got this let's see frank should be able to get this nice okay you love to see it but griff i think griff is going to be one of the best brawlers with mv game in the new update not because of this gadget just because of the meta like there's going to be so much poco so much max and griff's already starting to uh, get better within the meta so uh just overall i think he's going to be one of the better brawlers even though he hasn't really received any type of buff so gonna pop our super right there we're gonna pop our gadget as well and look at that that basically kills the buzz coming into us unfortunately we couldn't get another shot onto him but you see how much they like it shreds them if you can get direct impact on them so it's like buzz gonna go for the shot there not too sure what he's really doing poco in his meta is gonna be so deadly i can't wait to test him out in a few games time also we're just gonna try and push this poco out he's actually using screeching i wonder if screeching will become meta just because of like how much damage poco does gonna continue to try and push up here unfortunately my star power hasn't got enough healing to prevent them from pushing up and honestly i feel like i'm just gonna lose every single game since the update just because the meta is just so different it's gonna take a little while to get used to these guys testing out buzz as well buzz did get a recent buff and a new gadget so it'd be nice to try out both of them just after this game looks like poco is chaining his screeching solo frank should be able to get the poco down and look at this passive healing for myself i can just push in should be able to get the poco down i'm just spamming shots everywhere okay looks like the sprout is gonna put a wall down so that's a big rip unfortunately our stop power can't heal us up in time but that's gonna be the uh gadget for griff let's hop into the next one all right guys so now testing the new buzz gadget and overall just a buzz uh buff i feel like the new buzz buff should be pretty strong just because uh, overall he's already starting to gain a little bit more popularity within the meta mainly because of Carl. but overall i feel like he's pretty underrated so maybe with this new gadget or just a buff in general might help him out but yeah overall i think personally that this gadget isn't really going to do too much to him just because his other gadget is just so good in terms of like versatility getting around the map also if you miss your super you can pop a gadget and get onto any brawler as well so i just thought yeah other gadgets just going to be a lot better overall but we're happy to test it out especially on the really bushy maps maybe it does help him out or at least help his teammates out because i don't think buzz really needs it in his kit but it's always nice to get some vision and 12 seconds is a long time so just think of it as a better tara gadget as well so 
we've got our super we should be able to line this one up and probably get a goal here okay no we completely missed so this is what i'm talking about if you miss your super you're kind of screwed if you don't use the other gadget because normally if i miss my super especially in the beginning stages when people don't have supers you can easily just gadget onto them again especially when it's like a thrower for example and you can easily just get a kill even without a stun so a little bit of annoyance right there so getting close to our super right here we don't really need to pop our gadget again but we're getting close to the super so once the shelly respawns or at least the surge we should be able to score here so okay getting really close here let's just keep spamming the super button as much as possible looks like nita's about to charge another super which is just crazy i can't wait to test her out after this game this is the one brawler i'm looking forward to playing the most because i feel like you're just going to chain those bruce bears like it's nothing so in close to super again here so a lot of maps i feel like you don't even need it like it's a big radius right uh but i feel like for the most part before you enter a bush you know where people are thinking showdown it might be pretty useful because a lot of the times you don't even know where uh, people are like in the bushes for certain but in 3v3 modes normally you kind of know where people are so yeah that's a nice killer onto the shell you're gonna try and bait this surge out i can't really just jump onto him straight away because he'll just jump uh, looks like i'm close to super again we should be able to cycle it so yeah buzz looking pretty nice with his buff only 300 hp buff but literally any buff to a brawler like buzz should be decent enough so luckily we can take him down and that's going to be the last engagement because that's going to be pretty much an easy win right here so then it's going to pass the ball off should be able to get a stun onto the shelly and that's going to be a goal so buzz looking at pretty sharp with a new update let's hop into the next one all right guys so jumping into the next game so the buff which i think will have the most influence on the meta it has to be nita for me so you guys were unaware uh supercharge rate has been buffed from six hits to five hits which is just absolutely insane i know bruce gets taken down easily but just think about that the super cycling is going to be absolutely insane and her damage has been buffed by about 120 i believe so it doesn't seem like a lot but for a lane brawler so people was wondering as well why i wasn't really like hyping up the poco buff but i was hyping up the nita buff so the main reason why is because nita is a lane brawler she's going to be engagements a lot more than poco so just especially down the lane she's really needed some extra damage to just melt her lanes and this is the perfect change because she's going to be so op with this buff i just know for sure that she's going to be one of the most meta picks right now of course it might take a little bit of adjusting i feel like people might just say that needs to still pretty trash but trust me as you get used to playing her she's going to be really strong especially with the speed gear as well uh so yeah we're going to get close to our super already here we only need like a couple of hits from bruce as well to even help us even more so outside of max it's pretty much given up here uh but we can just hide behind bruce here just charge our super again and it's just nothing that these guys can do so yeah need to She's going to be so OP. Let's hop into the next one. All right, guys, now testing out the brand new Poco. So Poco Screeching Solo, I actually feel like might be pretty meta. As I said before, Like you can be a lot more aggressive Poco now. 1,200 damage is going to be pretty nice. It's definitely going to make him one of the more go-to picks within the meta right now. Just literally because like, any type of Poco buff just makes him so strong. You think of the Super Charge Rate buff as well beforehand where it made it to four hits to super and now it's increasing his damage and uh just looking at the stats on how many less ammo he needs i think he needs like a one less ammo to kill like more than half of the meta which is just kind of crazy i think within Kara's video i always watch Kara's videos just to kind of learn those type of interactions but yeah it looks like he's going to be nasty at taking people down and then if you combine this with the screeching solo star power he's going to be even more aggressive what the meta will be like i think is a lot of max because of the recent nerf to crow uh because that slowing toxin definitely isn't going to be that strong whatsoever anymore but also a lot of pokos so before i remember like a couple of years ago now when poker was somewhat meta uh literally it was just poker max everywhere poker max poker max and i could just feel like it's going to be the same right because poco with his max speed <laughs> with the amount of damage he can do it's actually going to be pretty insane so gonna just cycle our super a little bit more uh also like brawlers that used to counter this uh, kind of composition just like uh I'm trying to think off the top of my head there uh who, who got nerfed who got nerfed a uh, crow with slowing toxin i couldn't think of that for some reason that was literally the main counter to that um composition but now yeah i don't think you really see it too much and i'll actually test out crow afterwards because i want to test him out with the shield gadget because maybe that is actually a better gadget overall so kind of get wrecked a little bit there so i mean it's kind of expected when you're facing off against so many aggro brawlers like surely that is still poco's demise the amount of uh, aggro brawlers that are so we're gonna use our screeching to solo there uh, to make them a little bit low 
I'm using health gear as well just to make me back to full HP as quickly as possible. So let's put the ball in an aggro position. I think Bull's going to get a double stun there, which is pretty broken. Hopefully, oh no, I was so close to my super there. Hopefully Dennis can uh, bide us a little bit of time. I have 15 seconds left. Looks like all of these games are taking forever. Normally, whenever we do these type of videos, every single brawl I play, you know, the games are quicks. But we haven't got much time because we want to get this video out as quickly as possible. So what is trying to chain on us, but we should be getting close to our super again. Looks like we can just avoid him because we have our heal gadget. It looks like Kyle has just scored anyway. So that's going to be Poco. Let's hop into one last brawl. All right, guys, so going into the final game then. So I'm actually going to be testing out the other crow gadget because, as I said, I feel like it might be the better gadget overall right now. And so far, like out of all the nerfs, to be honest, I don't think the other nerfs are going to really do too much to the brawl meta. So that's why I didn't really want to uh, cover them. Other than maybe Janet, I think that's quite a substantial nerf. Uh, still going to be pretty okay, but... Yeah, as I said, I don't think it's going to change too much. So, thankfully, Kyle has got a ball here. So, this is where I think the meta will probably lie in terms of, uh, like, ladder, especially, like, Poco and Nita. I think it's going to be such a broken combination, uh, like, the amount of heals you can get, or just uh, damage as well that Poco can give. Uh, but with the gadget... Uh, with the shield one with crow anyways you're going to want to use it for the most part with your super so maybe we might still see him a little bit meta but yeah i don't really see him being too strong anytime soon especially with poker being so incredibly overwhelming right now so thankfully again carla's got a ball so i'm going to use my gadget to jump up and try and tank as much as possible there's just too much firepower right now and there's got to be a lot of tank counters in this meta let me know i think ems is going to be a brawler as well where although she wasn't really buffed i think she's literally just because of other brawlers in the meta it's going to push her near the top because she's one of the hardest counters to poco but yeah this is feeling pretty much impossible with how strong poco and nita are right now but that's going to be it for today's video let me know what you think of the meta and overall who's going to be pretty strong also danny did say on twitter that it was indeed a bug so make use of that stew bug uh, whilst it's here because it's definitely going to be gone pretty soon but yeah, it's going to be it for today's video guys hope you enjoyed this one i'm also streaming after this so make sure to check that out don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time